Hi parents, young to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In my video today, I will discuss about a parent's guide on how to put baby sleep fast and sleep longer. The 5 baby sleep tips. Our topic outline number 1 is how to develop and stick to a routine. 2. Why you let your baby nap in a brightly lit room. 3. How to make your child develop sleep association. 4. What is the Ferber method and how to apply it. 5. How to create a familiar environment for sleep. One of the most difficult things for new parents to deal with is a newborn's sleeping habits. Most of us are familiar with the circles around the eyes of new parents and their complaints about the lack of sleep. So here are 5 baby sleep tips which will hopefully help to both your newborn and you to get a solid night's rest. Number 1 Baby Sleep Tips Develop and Stick to a Routine One of the most important things you can do in terms of getting your newborn to sleep better is to establish a routine and to stick to it. The more the regular your baby's sleeping hours are, the more likely he or she will be able to sleep solidly throughout the night. As soon as possible, try and establish a sleeping pattern with your newborn that mimics the one in the rest of the household, in other words, one in which most of the sleeping is done at night. If you find that your newborn is sleeping in because of being up late at night, rouse him or her at the time when you normally get up. By doing this, it's more likely that your newborn will be tired and sleep in the evenings. On a general level, there will be no way to avoid the fact that your baby's sleeping habits are going to be irregular and there are of course going to be times when the baby simply wants to be awake when the rest of the family wants to be asleep. Over time, however, your newborn will begin to adjust to your family's regular sleeping habits if you instill in him or her at an early age a sense of routine. Dear parents, you have to remember this. A baby, particularly when he or she is very young, is heavily influenced by these routines. As much as possible, you should resist the temptation to let the newborn arrange his or her sleeping habits. The baby, of course, will want to sleep a lot, which is fine, but don't let the baby sleep too late into the morning. By establishing a routine with your baby from a young age, you will ensure that the transition into more regular sleeping habits is both quicker and a smoother one. Number 2 Baby Sleep Tips Let your baby nap in a brightly lit room. Although it seems somewhat counterintuitive, ensure that when your baby naps, he or she does so in a well-lit area. This will likely ensure that your baby naps for a shorter period of time which will make him more tired in the evening hours and help him sleep better at night. The reason letting your baby nap in a brightly lit room is a good idea is that it strikes a delicate balance for the parent. It allows you to influence your baby's sleep habits without too much direct interference. The problem is that nobody likes to rouse their baby while he is sleeping. In fact, you are probably enjoying the peace when he is, and yet, at the same time, you want to try and prevent him from sleeping throughout the day and bothering you at night. By letting your baby sleep in a well-lit room, you encourage a shorter naps without actually having to go through to the unpleasant experience of physically waking your child. Number 3 Baby Sleep Tips is to make your child develop a sleep association. One of the key factors in your baby's development is in creating associations with sleep. It is important, therefore, to instill a bedtime routine with your child that includes sleep associations he or she can replicate for him or herself. The idea is to get your child to a point where if he wakes up in the middle of the night, he can go back to sleep on his own. 
Establish a bedtime routine with your child that includes things like a final changing and feeding, etc. The best thing you can do is to put your child to sleep at a point during the day when they feel quite drowsy but are still aware enough to take in their surroundings and develop their own sleep associations. The worst thing you can do is get your child used to falling asleep with you there. If your child develops sleep association with a pacifier or by being rocked when she wakes up in the middle of the night, she won't be able to recreate her sleeping situation on her own because you won't be there to rock or feed her. You can do this instead. Try getting your child to associate with things like a stuffed toy or blanket. The idea is that if your child makes a sleep association with these items, he can recreate this sleep situation on his own when he wakes up in the middle of the night. Instead of waking up and crying for a feeding or to be rocked, the child will be able to grab his stuffed animals or blanket and recreate on his own situation conducive to sleep. Things to remember In this same vein, parents should consider the use of what is called a transitional object. This is something you allow your child access to only before bedtime and which he can bring to bed. So as your child gets his final bedtime story, Allow him to have his blanket or stuffed animals and allow him to keep the object with him as he put it to bed. The number four baby sleep step is the Ferber method. If at the age of five or six months, your baby is still having problems sleeping on his own, you will have to consider a more strict methodology in getting the child to go to sleep unaided. The most common method for achieving this is taught by Dr. Richard Ferber, and it is based on the principle of getting your child to learn to fall asleep on his own. Most children will learn to sleep on their own in a relatively short time using the Ferber method. Nevertheless, it is important that you implement the Ferber method during a time when you can afford to lose some sleep. It does require listening to lots of crying while your child learns to sleep on his own. If you waver and let your child fall asleep in your bed or with you, you may be undoing a lot of hard work. How to start the Ferber method? You start by developing a bedtime routine that ends with your child being left on his own to fall asleep. The first night, place your child to bed awake on his own. And when he is inevitably cry, wait around 5 minutes. After that time, re-enter the room and console him, but not for too long. Avoid picking him up or rocking him when you enter the room. After a brief time in the room, leave. And this time, allow him to cry for 10 minutes before returning. After you console him a second time, leave and wait 15 minutes before returning if he is still crying. Set your weight limit at 15 minutes and repeat the process. The idea is that the child will fall asleep on his own during one of the 15 minutes intervals you are out of the room. And in the second night, begin with a 10 minute wait time, moving to 15 and then 20 as a maximum. Increase your initial and subsequent wait times by 5 minutes each day. Then your child will soon learn to sleep on his own using this method. Number 5 baby sleep tips is create a familiar environment for sleep. One of the most crucial things you can do to ensure that your baby sleep well and on his own is to create a comfortable environment in which for him to sleep. The initial reaction of most people when they think of an environment that is conducive to sleep is one as quiet as possible. In most cases, this is not the best solution for your baby. You have to keep in mind where your baby has been sleeping for the last 9 months is in the womb. During the baby's time in the womb, he slept in all sorts of situations where he was surrounded by noise, while the mother was out in the public or talking to people. 
So, it is for this reason that many people believe that the environment most conducive to a baby's sleep is one that involves soothing background noises. Much like the baby in the womb became used to sleeping to the sounds of a mother's beating heart, a baby will often sleep better when exposed to chatter and other murmuring sounds as long as they kept reasonably quiet. What you want to avoid are sudden loud sounds which will naturally startle your baby. Some parents choose to invest in products, usually audio CDs, that replicate soothing sounds in the baby's room. But, in most cases, this is not necessary. It is simply enough to understand that an attempt to create complete silence when your baby is sleeping is often not as effective as leaving the door open a little. The ambient noise of the room and of other people moving around the house will in many cases make your baby sleep much better. That's for all today guys. Hope our video today helped you and your baby with sleeping issues. Please don't hesitate to ask any question in the comment section and we are here to help you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hope to see you again in our next video coming. Thank you for watching.